Thank you for checking out the Japanese Natural Beekeeping YouTube channel. We cover various topics about Japan's native honeybee and traditional Japanese beekeeping that is still practiced to this day. Today's video features a honey extraction from a very strong colony of native Japanese honeybees. This is Mayu, a local beekeeper in Japan. She will remove some boxes from this traditional Japanese beehive, also known as a pile box hive, for honey extraction. Right now, it is the beginning of June. Usually, there is no honey to extract at this time because the bees have consumed honey stored over the winter and need to replenish the supply in the spring and summer. Newly captured colonies from the spring also do not have a surplus of honey that can be harvested in the summer. However, this colony is very strong, standing at already six boxes high. The lower boxes are used to raise the brood, and the top boxes store honey. Maya will remove the top box for honey extraction. She will first start by removing the side panel of wood that protects the hive from the sun. After removing the lid, Mayu is surprised to see that the box appears to be full of honey. Since honeybees eat the honey supply over the winter, the top box is usually not full in June. Next, the duckboard is unscrewed. Mayu loosens the wax stuck to the duckboard with a putty knife. Inside the hive, we can hear the bees. It sounds like they are shimmering, shaking their bodies in unison to ward off any attackers. Normally, a colony full of honey like this is less aggressive. Mayo uses a blower to remove the bees in the top box. Now, she takes a wire to cut the remaining comb stuck to the duckboard. As suspected, the top box is full of honey. This indicates that there are plenty of nectar sources. Since the colony is large, Maya will remove two top boxes. After blowing the bees downwards, she uses the putty knife to loosen the sides of the box first, just like with the duckboard. Next, she uses the wire to cut the comb. It's quite warm today, so the honeycombs are soft and easy to cut. The box full of honeycombs is placed in a plastic container. The color of the honey depends on the nectar sources. 
The darkening of the comb in the center is due to the comb first being used to raise brood before being used to store honey. Mayu then repeats the same steps to remove the second box. She blows away any remaining bees before placing the box full of honeycombs into the plastic container. The duck board is screwed back down to the top of the hive. The lid is put back into place. Now Mayu takes this device called a hive lifter. Since Japanese honeybee colonies prefer to build honeycombs downwards, boxes need to be added to the bottom not top of the hive. To lift the hive, she simply turns the handle. The colony is so large that it has extended the comb beyond the bottom box into the hive stand. This colony has the most bees that Mayu has ever seen. <laughs> Upon a closer inspection, Mayu has spotted a queen cell. In fact, she has found four queen cells in total. This colony will swarm very soon. It's amazing to see just how many bees this colony has. Maya will add two empty boxes to the colony. Normally, there is a wire crossbar to support the comb. But since the colony has already extended the comb beyond the current bottom box, the wire crossbars were removed to accommodate the comb. The final box added will contain the wire crossbars. It is not easy to add empty boxes because there are so many bees and the comb is sticking out. The blower is used to remove the bees. <laughs> Mayu places the box with no wire crossbar around the comb. She gets some help from a fellow beekeeper friend with the bottom box. <laughs> the blower is used to remove the bees during the process to avoid killing them. Mayu also uses a brush to gently remove the bees. Finally, the boxes have been set in place and Mayu removes the hive lifter.
Mayu makes some small adjustments to make sure that the boxes line up. Now she can put the roof back on. She blows away the bees on the side of the hive and finally reattaches the sunshade. The colony is now all set. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave them below in the comment section. Please feel free to check out our Instagram, where we post daily about beekeeping in Japan and, of course, Japanese honeybees. We also have a website full of useful information about our native bee. Take care and see you in the next video!